All right, you guys, you know, I talk about bringing you new games that I am enjoying and trust me on this one. I am actually having a lot of fun. I've been streaming this game at Survival Arena and everybody in the streams loving it as well, picking it up and trying it out. So I partnered with Survival Arena to bring you this video and talk a little bit about a game that is a lot of fun. It's Tower Defense plus real-time PvP, but it's super unique tower defense, you guys. I just want to get into one of these battles. Now, I can play against other players, or I can play uh, PvE, which is what I'm going to do right here, just to show you real quick. So, it might look familiar in that you've got mobs that move towards a goal. They're trying to get over here. You're trying to stop them, but the cool thing is you're actually blocking their path. Now, I can't block their path completely, but I am creating a path that these guys are going to follow. You can see it's kind of a pirate themed game right here. And so I'm setting up these towers right now, just going with the basic cannons to try to stop these mobs that are coming through. But it gets way more complicated than this. Obviously, I've got the ice towers that are going to slow things down. You see different mobs are going to come in, bosses. And I even have the mortars, which are ideal for dealing with large groups of ground units. They do splash damage. But you also have a hero right here, and I've selected her. She's going to come out and try to help out. Now, there's a big group, so ideally I want a mortar down right now. Got a mortar out here, and there's the splash damage. I'm getting gears, and with these gears, that's what I build towers with. I'm going to put another mortar down here, and you can see I'm creating this path. I love the idea of making this pathway for the troops, and that's something that I haven't seen before in a game. And that is what has really intrigued me about the game is the ability it actually involves a little, I don't know, geometry as you're creating this path and obviously you want to create the most inefficient path for those guys to have to follow here, making them double back. And then these troops right here, I've got troops that I can drop on the battlefield, the pirate lasses, and they're going to help me out on defense of when I'm playing PvE. Now when I'm playing PvP, I can drop them on offense. And uh, that is really cool to use that as an offensive unit. Right here, they're just going to be in the pathway of the mobs that come through and help slow them down. And actually, pretty good strategic move to use them right here. Put them right in the middle of where your most of your damage is coming in. And that way, these mortars, and I can upgrade the mortars for 10 gears. That's a level 2 mortar. Here comes a level 3 mortar. That is massive damage. So those little guys, they stand no chance against my mortars and my pirate lass, as you can see there. I can also kind of zoom in, zoom out. The hero, I'm going to move her back into the path. Uh, she did die earlier, but she respawns every minute or two. I can get her back into the battle, dealing with more pirate lasses coming at me. And I've got 28 gears, so now I've got an opportunity to build a little bit more of a convoluted, circuitous path for these guys to have to follow. We obviously don't want them to go straight to the tower there, uh, but eventually they're going to get there. And we're going to make it as difficult as we possibly can. I'm going to throw down some more of these guys to kind of stall. I figure right here in the middle of all these mortars is the best place to stall. And you can see I can also speed up time with my adrenaline right here. If I'm having a good time and, you know, not really having any difficulty against this wave, I can go ahead and speed things up. Mini boss is coming out. I'm going to throw down another cannon down here. My hero is respawned. I'm going to bring her back up there speed things up with the adrenaline because some of these waves some of these arenas that you guys are in are actually timed and you only have a certain amount of time to get as far as you can and there's a ton of different arenas uh, we'll go ahead and pop into some of the arenas and show those to you guys as well right here as this finishes up we'll just fast forward obviously i wouldn't have done that in real life i would have done my best to prevent those pirate lasses from getting there but that was a pve arena that was sudden death and you can see I had 142 kills, so it's going to rank me uh, in the uh, league as well. Now, I get rewards for placing in these leagues, but as you can see, this is just the beginning. Sudden Death, here's the duel where you're going PvP. Right now, I'm 11-4 and four in PvP. Here is the task list, so those are things, achievements that I want to get to get more rewards. But you can play against friends on Facebook. Uh, there's, hey, featured videos. Hopefully, I'll be here one of these days. And right here, Wi-Fi duel, so you can duel with a friend in the same room. And then more arenas, Thunderdome, King Zing, Crab Fest. I haven't even unlocked Gridlock yet, but you have all of these different arenas. And each one is slightly different than the other. 
But again, it's about your arsenal. These are the things that you bring. You have a loadout. I've got three towers I can bring. Ammo and troops right now because of my level I can only bring two. You the power ups, the adrenaline, and then the hero right here. She's going to help out. You can choose between the heroes and each has different abilities. I chose Scarlet Blade because she's got ground and air and she's pretty fast, pretty tanky, and overall I just felt like she was probably the best for me. Right now here are the hero or the towers rather level 6 right now, but look at all these towers that are going to up, uh, you know, unlock eventually. So many more towers. You can either choose in the loadout right here ammo or troops or a combination of them. I was going with ammo for a while. I had the cannon fire and the snowballs, but I actually feel like I'm doing better bringing the troops, bringing right now the pirate lasses and the grunts. Eventually, I might try out these bombastics right here. And uh, so those in the loadout. And then again, the heroes, uh, I've gone with her, but there are a few others that I will be able to unlock eventually. And then power-ups and then perks. I'm working on this one right here. It gives me 6% more damage for the entire, uh, any ground unit that I'm facing. So again, as you get these rewards, you will get chests. You open up the chests and the card packs, and you can see here, that's what's going to help us upgrade. Got grunts out of this card pack and some bombastics. So working on trying to get those guys to level five. I am in a clan. If you guys want to come to my clan right now, I am leading full attack. And although it is full at the moment, I am going to be removing people that aren't super active. Uh, so definitely people that aren't active are going to get removed from the clan. There's clan leaderboards. You can see our clan rank is 301 right now. My personal valor 14, or that's the personal, the valor for the clan 1435. Mine is 204. And then you can see your ranking in the clan on each of the different arenas. So on the leaderboards for whatever, you know, Thunderdome, for King Zing, whatever it is I'm doing here, I can see where I've ranked against my other clan members and overall. So pretty cool as well. You can check out the leaderboards and see what is happening globally right here. And let's just see. We went to uh, top clans. You can see my clan is, again, 301, working our way up. So I'm going to be looking for players who are pushing hard, who are enjoying this game and want to give it a try. I'm having a lot of fun with it. I'm hoping that you guys give it a try as well. The link is down in the description. And I don't know. There's just so many different arenas to try right now. Uh, my personal favorite actually has been Crab Fest. This one right here, because you're facing two different outputs of enemies coming from two different areas. And you can block their paths right here. You can see if I block the path here and here, suddenly they're going over there. So ideally what I've been doing here is blocking this right path and now all of the mobs, all of the enemies come down one path on the left and then I can build the cannons out over here and they serve double duty. The cannons are going to be attacking both the units that come out of here and on the other side as well. So there's so much strategy to this you guys. I really wanted to see a game like this where you can alter the path of a tower defense game. There's so many tower defense games out there, but not like this, real-time PVE, and you can change the path, so it makes it a little bit more complicated. I'm having a good time. Again, if you guys try it out, let me know down in the comments if you want to get in a full attack clan or maybe start a sister full attack clan of your own. You're more than welcome to. Just let me know down in the comments first, and I will officially give it the Galadon Gaming seal of approval like I have to this game. And that is gonna do it, you guys. Thank you, as always, for checking out the game, for watching. You guys are the true hashtag Galafam. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I will be trying out new games every single month, and you can always come back for the earliest possible update and sneak peek information. But until then, get out there, enjoy Survival Arena, and remember, in life, as in video games, give everything your all, make every attack a full attack.